Home sweet home, Colorado third season mule deer. Holy crap. He's sitting there chewing his cud. Pretty freaking deer. sweet home for the next five days, Colorado third season mule deer. I'll set up the pop-up trailer, hook up the uh, power. I was pretty unsuccessful in the draws this fall and uh, Jeff Forsberg with Battenfield Technologies has had this lease for a long time and had a leftover landowner tag so offered it to me and figured I'd better take advantage of it. We'll go out tonight and glass. Jeff will show us around and I may hunt with Jeff a little bit. You have to hunt it like there's a deer around every tree because it's likely that there is. So. A lot less expensive than uh, going with an outfitter and pretty much do it on my own. I haven't hunted mule deer in Colorado with a rifle since I was a kid, so it's a great opportunity and see if we can't kill a good mule deer. There's a good one down there to the left too. Wow. You may or may not believe me, but this is actually, there's not a lot of deer in here at all. Dude. Yep. That's a big buck. Check him out. Holy crap. See his brows? Yeah. He's sitting there chewing his cud. Pretty freaking deer, man. Just thick, heavy. heavy. That four behind him is not a bad deer. Uh-uh. Dude, look at his front four. <laughs> I know. Just They're huge. Oh, I wouldn't hesitate with that. No. Just so you know. Uh-uh. <laughs> That first night, I got a great lay of the land from Jeff and saw multiple mature bucks. My optimism couldn't have been higher. Well, it's opening morning, that's always an exciting time. I'm gonna meet Jeff here in just a little bit and hunt the timber this morning. When we were scouting last night, we saw some good deer. I'm pretty excited to, to get out there. As we headed out, the first encounter we had was with a herd of elk. And as it turned out, Jeff had a cow tag, so we decided to try and get close enough for a shot. Not really all that steady right here. Not really all that steady. I need to try to get up a little bit. After missing the first shot, the elk stayed in the area, so we followed the herd to hopefully get another shot. Dead on her. You think she went down? Got some meat in camp, maybe? There's a buck right there. It's a big buck. It's gotta stop. Pure Hunting is brought to you by Browning, the best there is and by Thoroughgood, American manufacturer of job-fitted work and outdoor footwear since 1892. Hoyt, 
Get serious. Get Hoyt. IOTA Outdoors. Question every detail. Control the sound with custom fit digital hearing protection from ESP and these other fine companies. After heading out to hunt mule deer in Colorado, my friend Jeff and I ran into a herd of elk and decided to try and fill his cow tag. I'm gonna go after that one. That was dead honor. There's blood there. We tracked the blood trail and ended up finding Jeff's cow not far from where he shot. That's a big healthy cow. He's big. Well, a deer hunt turned into an elk hunt. <laughs> Willie apparently let me ruin his first deer, deer day. Happy to be a part of any Damn. hunt and kill. It was fun to switch roles. The intention was not to uh, you know, go elk hunting, but when you run into these suckers and you need meat, it's go time. <laughs> yeah, fill the tag. Congrats, man. Thank you very much. Yep. Thanks very much, I appreciate it. I know you need to hopefully try to get a deer. <laughs> well, we saw a couple last night scouting and just a matter of putting the time in and catching the right one at the right time. I helped Jeff get his elk back to camp and then headed out on my own after deer. So we're gonna work our way up. There's a lower hay meadow here, catch a road, and then work through the timber on this road. And then we're just gonna work to the spot where we can glass. Get set up here and spend the afternoon glassing till 45 minutes or so before last light. Maybe some deer will come out of the aspen and feed down into these sagebrush. So we'll get comfortable, gonna be here for a little bit. It wasn't long before a herd of mule deer appeared on a nearby ridge. A couple more deer just came out. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I thought that one was a buck because he was bigger bodied than it is. trying to follow blood right now. I was hunting in Colorado when the biggest mule deer buck of my life stepped out. There's a buck right there.
crazy. Absolutely crazy. What a buck. Been sitting here for a couple hours. Nothing was happening. All of a sudden there's a buck right down there. Beautiful, beautiful buck, heavy frame. Dark antlers, kicker off his right side. And I think he had us pegged because we moved a little bit. He started trotting off. He jumped the fence and came up and was just over 200 yards. Stop broadside, he knew something was up. The shot felt good, I had good steady rest. So we ran up off into the plum thicket. That was the last I could see him. Let's go see if we can find blood and then find the buck. blood trail I found was weak, but not giving up hope, I tagged the blood I found and called in some help from the other guys in camp. Well, I shot one. We're trying to follow blood right now. It's not a great blood trail. Well, Eric's going to come up and bring some flashlights and help look. I'm just glad we found blood, but I'm bummed at the quality of the blood trail. Eric, who's on the lease with Jeff, came up with some other hunters from camp to help look for the buck. You want to look for blood or follow a trail or spread out or what do you want to do? You just try and find some more blood, just get to see if there's a trail that he tried to stay. Okay. Okay. We found a few more drops of blood, but nothing that would lead me to believe that the buck was fatally wounded. Well, it's already been a long night. We searched for that buck for a little over three hours. Got to last blood and gonna go back tomorrow and take a look at it. Great buck. Obviously disappointed we didn't find him tonight. Obviously disappointed the shot wasn't maybe a little bit better right on the shoulder where I, uh, right behind the shoulder where I wanted it. I know most hunters have lived through this at some point in their life. They know uh, what I'm going through and hopefully all is well that ends well, but Get out there tomorrow and give it a whirl. After hitting a monster buck and only finding a little blood the night before, the next morning produced similar results. You know, I went back and just was looking for blood and never found anything since the last blood. I was doing circles, picking trails. But Jeff was pretty confident he saw the buck alive and well earlier that morning. I think I was over this crest, and he was bedded somewhere up, up in this stuff, and got up. I'm 95% sure that it's, it's the deer. Okay. And if it is him, I don't want to push him too far that way. Yeah. The wind's doing weird stuff right now, but we have to kind of want to come around from the other side. Okay. We need to make a move on it. <laughs> hiked into the area where Jeff spotted the buck, and I thought we had him cornered. See him? Yeah. There's another one behind it. That wasn't, that wasn't yours. It's a pretty good deer, deer, though. Yeah, it is. Since we were still searching for the buck I'd shot, I had to let this one go. Pure Hunting is brought to you by Browning Ammunition and by Browning Crossbows. Wilderness Athlete, the authority on outdoor performance.
and by Fox Pro High Performance Game Calls. Browning Casual Sportswear, the best there is. And these other fine companies. Be sure to check out Tenzing for their full line of packs. From the backcountry for elk to the tree stand for whitetail, Tenzing is my pack of choice. I travel a fair amount on some of my hunts, and I trust Plano to keep my hunting equipment safe and protected while traveling on all of my hunts. Bloody hair. Guesses you went that way. All of our searching for the buck I shot on the first day had turned up empty. Obviously he's not dead. He didn't just go 100 yards and lay down, so now we're trying to find him and hunt him up if possible. And he was bedded somewhere up, up in this stuff. And I'm 95% sure that it's it's the deer. That wasn't, that wasn't yours. I decided to head back to an area where Jeff said he spotted my buck on a last ditch effort to recover it. Sure enough, just came up out of this hill. Wanted to get a vantage point, and there was a buck down there. Great buck, I didn't have a shot. Too much stuff. But the wind is going straight down, and when he turned to go away, he looked exactly like the buck that I shot. Obviously doing very well, so we're, we're confident that it was just a flesh wound. He ran off, got the, you know, bouncing and took off, and I don't know if he would've hooked left off into the thick stuff that way, but oh, phenomenal looking buck. Dang it. I was incredibly disappointed about not getting that buck, but relieved that he was okay and I could continue hunting. Pretty deer, just not very big, probably not very old. As the hunt progressed, more opportunities presented themselves. After seeing so many large bucks in this area and even getting a shot at one, it was very hard to settle for anything less. As the hunt was coming down to the wire, I finally spotted a bigger buck. A good heavy four by four. There he is. 
but he saw me and took off before I could get a shot. Gave us seconds and inches. Tried to make a move to get up around on that buck and just didn't get up in time. And he saw us and took off. He came out across this open flat. But didn't stop long enough. Too bad he was a great buck. In the end, I had a ton of fun. Lots of encounters. I also saw my buck on the fifth day, high on a ridge three quarters of a mile away. Had my opportunity, blew it. Probably had a oh, buck of a lifetime, actually. but I did experience what many hunters encounter in camp. Getting back to camp empty-handed to see that Eric bagged a giant on another part of the property. He was with another buck and they were chasing each other around and everything else. So we put it down and ducked and rolled and this is, <laughs> this is what happened. Nice brows, so, man. Yeah, he's got the brows. I mean, he's almost perfect. Cheaters you know, on each end. Cheaters, you know, bladed, big bladed. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah.